Hello everyone, and welcome back to the vlog. Uh, wow, it feels like it's been a while. I'm not sure why that feels like that. I'm pretty sure I put out something last week. I'm not exactly sure what it is off the top of my head. Um, but anyway, the main reason I think of that is because this week I have uh, quite a bit of a list, uh, a major item, if you will, that will come at the uh, probably three-fourths of this particular vlog. Uh, any other major highlights before then, however, um, just got my first uh, birthday card, uh, got it from my grandmother, she still sends me stuff, um, uh, she sent 25 bucks, so that'll be nice, that'll cover at least half of the, uh, uh cotton convention price, uh, for, uh, in a couple months, uh, since I'm here in February pretty soon, I should be, uh, paying for that, to which I would add that February 4th, um, which is in four five days <clears throat> is my birthday so it'll be right after the Wednesday video so my first uh, video game video of the week is going to be um, my birthday this next week here um, so that's why I got a card from my grandmother um, that's also why I'm gonna show you guys this really quick I got, my mother got me a comforter, she saw it, she knows it's my birthday coming up, and uh, she knows that I quite enjoyed the new Star Wars, so, nerd status, official, as much as I can show it, there we go, hey, hey there we go, Chewy right there in front, <clears throat> so, that has happened already, and while I don't normally care for bedding or clothes or anything like that for my birthday to add overly much, I do enjoy a good shirt, and admittedly I haven't had a good comforter in quite a while, so it's been very nice. It's been very cozy at night. Almost too warm at some nights, but uh, I'm pretty sure that'll change before too long. I'm sure, uh, I can almost bet on that. Um, anything else? I've been kind of contemplating uh, my video game stuff. I understand that they don't get that many views. I like doing it. I hope you guys enjoy seeing it, but it kind of seems like barely anyone's paying it any mind. Um, so, kind of kind of trying to feel that one out, because I would like to keep doing the video game content. Uh, actually, here's a big question for you guys. Would you prefer if I made another channel or something, maybe? Like, just take all my video game stuff and put it over there. Would that interest you guys? Would you prefer I do that and maybe just make a complete video game channel? Or did I just put up video game stuff whenever I have the time? Maybe. For sure it'd be Thursdays and Fridays and maybe a little bit here and there during the weekends and earlier in the week. But not like a for sure everyday thing. Unless you guys really want me to do an everyday thing. In which case I'll try to do that I suppose. I can try and fit that somewhere in the schedule. Try and film enough stuff in one go for two days straight and see if I can make enough content without burning out. Um, just thoughts like that lately that have been coming up because it seems to be really hard to get a good game like Warcraft to actually have views on my channel for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Even though I know I have friends who would actually like to see it because a lot of them like play WoW and stuff and have never really experienced the original Warcraft games. But anyway, um... That's all aside, so the main beef today, the main stickler that's been kind of pissing me and several other people off, uh, YouTube. YouTube, what is your fucking deal lately? Jesus H. Christ, what is wrong with you? I mean, holy hell, what is up with these guys? So, to put this as bluntly as I know, and as quickly as possible, uh, there is a channel on YouTube, it's somewhat popular, it's called I Hate Everything. Um, now, while obviously he doesn't hate everything, it's a review show to essentially pick and fun at, poke fun at and rip apart things that he really doesn't like. 
like recently he did a thing on this uh, Kung Fu Panda knockoff. Totally deserves what's coming to it because it's probably complete total garbage, let's face facts. What should have just been maybe a strike at most and he could have easily fixed it because it's still technically under uh, it's still technically safe under the guidelines of YouTube. It's still his own original content. He wasn't even showing any video footage. He was just showing himself destroying DVDs at the worst if it is that particular video. Instead of just a strike or something which he could have appealed for and easily won afterwards after all this was said and done, also his channel closed. His channel is gone. It literally took them several days before they actually sent him an email stating that it's gone and the reasons which were bullshit because you're not supposed to be able to do that. So, there was a long way to fight. He had to start uh, posting things on his other channel to just go, what the hell? And after he made big enough of a stink on his other channel, YouTube finally woke up and uh, gave him back his account, said, very, we're very sorry, here it is, all back, nothing's missing. And then act like nothing happened while he had to fix everything else that was going on. Because he had also repeal a strike, which was bullshit. Three weeks ago, Doug Walker, the soldier critic, uh, bum reviews, etc. Suddenly, three weeks ago, YouTube shut down his channel for no damn good reason other than another bullshit strike because he's a reviewer. People don't like you when you review things, apparently. I mean, I understand putting up, like, say, 20 minutes of movie footage and not editing it, but seriously, this person is trying to review a movie, he needs to use at least a little bit of footage, it is fair use. If it's more than 20 minutes, I can understand having a hissy fit and trying to shut somebody down. This, however, was bullshit. They stopped the monetization, they can no longer put up uh, 15, anything longer than 15 minutes, so they had to slice up their episodes when they released them on YouTube. It literally took them posting a video about this bullshit, and within 24 hours, suddenly YouTube came back and went, oh yeah, very sorry about that, giving you everything back again. And also right now, uh, there's another reviewer uh, that uh, the Walkers mentioned, uh, Chippy Reviews. I've had a quick look at some of his stuff. He literally just does a vlog, kind of like what I'm doing right now. He just literally sits in front of a camera and talks about something. How can anyone stick him with a claim and or a strike and take away his monetization? How? Because bullshit. Bullshit, YouTube. Fuck you. What the fuck are you doing? You've given these assholes way too much goddamn power, and you're screwing yourself. If you don't stop this, YouTube, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen to you, but you're gonna go downhill further than fucking Daily Motion. You hear me, motherfucker? Do you fucking hear me? I'd rather post Daily Motion than here if you're gonna keep doing this shit. Fucking asshole. I mean, what is your goddamn fucking mental disease deal? This is the kind of shit that royally pisses me off. Because I also saw how Chibi was reacting in his video. I have seen that face far too fucking often in the last couple of years. You shit lords. You're fucking with somebody's life, you goddamn motherfuckers. Especially a person who literally does completely original content. Did you even look at it? No, of course not, because you use the automated system. Because you're just sitting there fucking wanking away over all your fucking YouTube money. And you could be bothered to actually check and make sure that people aren't sending fraudulent bullshit to try and fuck other people in their fucking daily lives as they have actually managed to take your content uh, releases here and actually make them into something that's viable for living. Screw you. Stop shitting on people. This is exactly the same reason why I don't even care about monetizing YouTube anymore. Because I have it all over, all over on Patreon. If uh, people really want to actually help out my shows, including the vlogs here, by all means, go to the fucking Patreon page I have. I literally allow people to post what they like to see me review. I let people uh, post to me uh, what they like me to buy if they actually give me enough money to buy something. 
and I'll do a review or even a let's play of it depending upon what content you want me to get as soon as possible. At a certain amount, I actually start giving you some of my free YouTube usable music. I'll give it to you. A CD, a full CD, motherfuckers. And this is because Patreon will allow me to actually afford that shit. As opposed to YouTube, run by assholes at Google, who will rob you of your fucking crap. And keep them releasing... And here's the thing I think that's going on here. Okay? I think there's something in their system that's bugged. I think somebody somewhere messed something up. Or somehow somebody in the system that, uh, on the other side that keeps trying to stop the content for the review content from going out has found a way to get around their limitations and actually close down channels without YouTube's official say on whether or not they should be closed. Something is bugged, YouTube. And obviously you need to stop banning people outright and sit there and figure out what the fuck is going on and fix it. There's no fucking excuse for this shit. If it's gonna be this buggy, you might as well go back a version and then sit there and figure out what the fuck you did wrong and fix the fuck out of it. Because otherwise, if this keeps going down, like every fucking week, like it has been for the last month, I can guarantee you people are gonna find other routes. And Blip almost made it, except for Blip kind of got taken over by another group and then they shat on everything that they had been given and it went down the pipes. There's still things like Zipcast. If Zipcast makes enough money, they could give you the middle finger and become the new YouTube. Same with Daily Motion. if they could get anyone that doesn't just release bullshit and porn. I think they release porn. They, they release stuff that's pretty close to it, as far as I was aware. I just kind of look, search shit, and all of a sudden I see some really shady looking crap. It's like, nope. Anyway. YouTube. Figure out what their fucking deal is here. Okay? Seriously. Fix this shit. It should not be happening like this. And everyone else, be very fucking careful because YouTube's been a goddamn fucking bag of dicks. And you almost might be better off trying to find a place to permanently save your shit and then release it somewhere else. Because, holy hell, if YouTube keeps going down like this, nobody's gonna be safe. Not even Pewds is gonna be safe from this shit and one of these days, guarantee it. But, uh, that's about it for me for right now. That's my opinions on that. I still think it's a little crap, and I think YouTube's somehow to blame for it. YouTube slash Google. And, uh, I guess I'll see you all next week. Um, a couple days you'll be seeing the next, uh, remix video. And we'll see what goes on from there. Alrighty, so, see you next time.